In 1941, a scientist accidentally invented a magical material we know today as styrofoam. This foam, made from polystyrene, is lightweight, shapeable, durable, and insulative, properties which make it useful in a wide range of applications. By 2024, the world is expected to produce enough expanded polystyrene to fill 2.5 million semi-trucks annually. All that foam requires petrochemicals to make, and it takes hundreds of years to degrade, remaining in the environment as toxic trash. What if all that could be avoided? Introducing Carbon Cell, a non-toxic, fully biodegradable foam. It's made with biochar, a carbon-negative material made by pyrolyzing organic biomass. When biomass is left to decompose, methane escapes into the atmosphere. When biomass is burned the conventional way, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. Pyrolysis, however, involves burning biomass in the absence of oxygen. The resultant material is a highly porous, effectively carbon-negative material that sequesters carbon in a very stable form for centuries instead of releasing carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Up to 3.6 tons of CO2 is sequestered for every ton of biochar produced. Biochar can be made from things like potatoes, the most wasted food in the UK, or even from textile waste. The biochar is then ground and mixed with a bio-based binder and water. After some very scientific reactions happen, the resulting material is expanded to create a foam cell structure. This turns into a biofoam with competitive thermal conductivity and better compressive strength than polystyrene foams. A natural entry point for carbon cell is thermal and structural packaging, like coolers. 500 million plant pots and trays that protect seedlings from temperature stress are sold in the UK every year, and two thirds end up in landfill or incinerators. So, a further target market is industrial horticulture. Given the rising need for better insulated buildings due to climate change, Carbon Cell also aims to replace polystyrene insulation, reducing the embodied carbon of construction and helping regulate temperatures during harsher winters and hotter summers. Polystyrene was a great material for the 1950s, before we realized the impact throwaway living could have on our planet. But now, it's time for a new material. It's time for Carbon Cell, a carbon-negative, biodegradable foam, making polystyrene a thing of the past.